I'm gonna uh, grease the shaft before we go out. And they're a bit of a nightmare to get to some of these grease nipples. That's why this shaft requires two hands. They, they hide everywhere. There's another one in there on the wide angle PTO joint. And then whilst it's out, oh, now I've filled the end full of that. That now wants cleaning. I'll just put some in that in there as well. Last bit of water down there. Just, um, this is the uh, field where I got my little holiday let. And um, I just thought I'd leave like a few meadow bits and just do like these little bits just to tidy it all up. Make it look neat. I'm trying to do this whilst no one's staying in the little cabin because otherwise they'll come and sit outside and they'll be like, oh, what's this massive machine come? It's Tom Lamb and he's, oh my God, the dust from the baler. <laughs> so I do it when no one's here us. We want to make their experience at the Tom Lamb stay as pleasant as possible. Here we are. Go and have a pint after this, can't I? But no, I'm not gonna, because I've got too much to do. This last little bit here, just tidying this up. They want it for a little bit of car parking just here for the uh, for the beer festival that they have at the uh, at the local pub. Here we are. Usually a ram bale, all this, but uh, the ram bale has now been put away for the year, so there's only going to be three square bales. So we're about to go combining, and oh look, it's raining. So that's ruined that for the rest of the day. Yeah, I suppose it gives me an afternoon off, but we have got to get the rest of those bales carted. Here we are, look. Not one class 8,900 Lexan, but two class 8,900 Lexan. Anyway, back to the masses. One day, one day. Here we are again, filling the shed up, still. Get it there, I'll put the grain push on in a minute. Getting the last of the wheat straw in now. I'll be pleased to get all this done. Hi is there, I'll be putting that on again tomorrow. Got another little bit of uh, a tiny little bit, oh sorry, no I've got a little bit more wheat straw too, sorry I forgot. Uh, that side of the shed, pretty much full. Uh, that side's barley, this side's wheat. Go on, get in there. There we go. I'm so good at this, I can do it one-handed whilst holding the phone. Oh, this is non-stop, this is, I'm sweating. They're coming in faster than I can keep up. Woo. I've got my Nama digging hat on, I should have had Nama farming's hat on. Another lot of spring barley starting to fill this shed now as well. Don't hit the roof. Someone's already at the door. Not in this shed, in the other shed. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh no! You needn't look at the door. Just put it down and make sure it's down. Next row of pedestals are in. People are asking what these are for. Basically, look, they've just got all these little holes. You see them? All those little holes and then we'll put a fan on top and it sucks the air through to keep the grain uh, cool so it doesn't eat up. 
Thank you, Queen. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Go on. Make sure you don't back into them either, or you bend them like someone's done there. I don't know who that was. Oops. Don't hit my roof! Or the door! That door's really high, so you shouldn't be able to hit that anyway. Then I get the 12 meter load on, push around it. Whilst the other big one comes in. Oh yes, now we're farming! Come on, girl! This means maximum! Oh no, we've got another one! There's three of us! Oh no, the back wheels are coming off the floor! Here we go! Trying to get around these pedestals so you don't hit them like someone else has hit that one there and it's bent. I'll push this one up here like that. Don't hit that pedestal! Let's get out and take a picture of this, hadn't I? That's it, shove it up. All the Albert buckets. This is a 12 metre that's got legs, that's a 9 metre that's not got legs. And then the 568 is the one with a real big bucket on it. Right, crack on with some more farming. Right, so just been pushing up, but I can never resist coming out and having a look at some proper combines. So uh, let's have a look at that. Get in. Oh yeah, bought the drone and someone else has. I just can't believe how that shoves all that up that little tiny hole. Yeah. There we go, that's better, get some lights on. It's amazing how you can get it in that trailer, isn't it? It's just like chucking it everywhere. It takes a, yeah, it takes a bit, but when you're on the trailers, to be fair. Yeah, I bet it does. That's filled him right up.
road. Yeah, I think the other one. Clean grain. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, just highlighting the. That tells you the moisture as well. Yeah. So is it just yeah. uh, twelve point so nine percent? Moisture there, and then you got some counters up here, like tonnage a hectare, tons an hour, hectares an hour. You need a computer degree to drive these things, don't you? What's this called? Furt tank. Furt tank? Yeah. So this Go. is showing you where the combines have been? Yep. And that's the yield That's map. the yield mapping. Yeah. All on your phone, look. And then these are the fields you've got to do on the left. Yeah. I just need to adjust the uh, rates of there. <laughs> but then that tells you what it is. Oh, okay. The that's that's good. the area. And that's what we've uh, So go across there. here on the, what we just looked at. So these are the ones you're going to start tonight and then we'll yeah. do some more tomorrow. That's it. We'll go up the track and then we'll combine the rest of that. Very clever. Yeah. There the combines are just there. Getting dark now. And there we have large scale farming. Um, my, I was using my drone but the controller's gone flat and it's, it's up there somewhere and I think I've lost it. So I'm going to have to try and wait for it to come down but... I think it's coming down. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can grab hold of it. Whee! Well done. And uh, that is a bit of large scale farming. I hope you enjoyed the little ride along in the class Lexans. Gonna do a bit of a drone video for uh, tomorrow's video so you can enjoy that. Looks pretty cool with all the lights on at night. They kind of look like an aeroplane coming into land with all the lights down there bed and all on the roof and in the grain tank and all over the place anyway right see you tomorrow goodbye